Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Lumentop. Now this here is their W1. Now I was sent this directly by Lumentop. They wanted me to test and review. This light comes in this box. Really not too much information on the box itself, so let's wait no further and open it up. Let's see if I can get this sticker off. Sometimes these can be a little bugger. I got lucky on that one. I noticed uh, Lumen Top has changed the packaging here. All the goodies are underneath here. USB Type C charging cable. And it's flat and short. And two O rings. There's already O rings on the light, so these are extra. And quality check assurance badge here. You get one small lanyard. I mean, you may be able to get four fingers in there, maybe five. It's going to be real tight. Got larger hands. And one user manual. Front and back, multi language. So let's go ahead and uh, see if I can get this up close here. Now, the highest output with combined sources, uh, LED and beam types, is 600 lumens. Now, if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause screen. And it is a multi colored LED light. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here at the light. And there it is. It's compact. Definitely suited for everyday carry. There's no clip on here, so you definitely have to carry this by hand. Can throw it in your jacket pocket, it's not going to be any issue with that. Now, there is a protection piece, I want to remove this before I forget. Set the side switch here. Now, that this does have a battery level indicator behind it, I will turn red when it's critically low. There's the charging port. Now I'm seeing this on a couple of lights. So they've got a way that they've actually sealed the port. I don't know how they've done it, but uh, they just leave them open. They just, whenever you need to charge it, it's there. That's what that looks like. It's got some heat sinking here on the head. I like the grooves here in the body will help with gripping the light even if you want to hold it tactically you can style and design on this is nice and it looks like it has some areas here on the head hopefully to help prevent it from rolling off it may help prevent slow it down a little bit there's the lanyard hole there you can table stand that should you need and the machining and finish on this is nice not seeing any issues I've reviewed many lights from Lumen Top over the years. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look here. It's going to be something different. This is something I've been for years asking about. Now this is actually an LEP with a Cobb LED. So you're now going to have the foreground lit up and that nice intense hotspot. 
So I've always asked companies about that and uh, a couple of them have got some unique designs which I'll be getting in the future. And this is one of them. Cob LED is all around the edge there. And the laser LEP is in the center. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the battery it comes with. This is a complete kit. Tail springs, pretty heavy duty. Let's take the battery out here. This is an 18650. This is a 3000 milliamp. This is a 20 amp cell, unprotected. So it should be plenty of power to run this light. Hopefully it's an LG cell behind here. That would be great. I'm trying to look down in the barrel here. Not too sure. Now it's straight contact plate, but you can run any 18650 with a button top, flat top, or slightly raised cell. So that's nice to know. So if it goes dead, you can easily just swap out a battery or charge it on the go. It's up to you. Now let's go through the UI. I'm going to turn it on here. Now the light's not turning on, so there is another issue probably a protection piece up here on the head of the light and that's what it is now my advice keep these they come in handy even if you don't use it on this light you can do so on any light there's the contact plate there on the head get my camera to focus so you can use button top on there Okay, now let's go through the UI. We got good battery power here, showing the battery level there. That's good, I have not charged this yet, but I'll do it before I go out there. So we're gonna turn that on there. Of course, it's just the Cobb LEDs. Real nice wide flood on here. Press and hold. Looks like there's two light levels for the Cobb LED. Yep. So now we're going to turn on the LEP. And now we've got that here. Now I'm not a huge fan of them by themselves, but this has been included on some other brands of lights where they've included LEDs around the edges on some other lights and that really works for me so that's really intense now these things are gonna have incredible range on them uh, these things probably a mile easily and uh, that's what the beam is just just a super focused beam and if we double click uh, triple click on that, I'm sorry. I'll get you strobe. And that would be incredibly blinding. And then one click of the button turns it off. So we're going to turn that on. And so let me see if I can get the combination of both here. We got that. One, two. One, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four. There we go. Four clicks will get you the combination now of both. So you've got a spill area here. You can see. Now it's going to be relatively, you know, weak compared to that spot, but that's what that looks like. <laughs> uh, 
that's probably going to be amazing probably I know that some of these other lights that I have they do well with the mixture of both of them on there and that's all there is to this light uh, I like the fact that you can you have one you have the other one two three four you can have them both I'm trying to see if this will uh, I guess you can't uh, you only have you only have one level with both of them on there <laughs> hot spot is gonna be pretty amazing <laughs> and that's all there is to this light getting a little warm here on the head of the light not bad though Overall, very nice build quality. I'm not seeing any issues with that. It does have kind of a kind of a flat finish to it there. I like the fact that it feels pretty rugged as well. All right. Well, let's wait no further. Let's take this W1 out. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Lumen Top W1. I'll go ahead and get started here. We're going to do the flood. See how wide this beam is. <laughs> yeah. Man, just a super wide area here. Well, look, we're going to bump it up here. You see how large of an area this is here, way out to the side. Put it on the water spout. That's 38 feet there. Just way out here to the sides, all the way to the bottom. 65 feet there. There's the beam on the fence. I'm going to go ahead and show you the red LEDs because of the um, other white level here. Red is impressive on this. Yeah, probably about 30, 40 feet. That's 38 feet there. That water spout, kind of see how it falls off. I'm going to press and hold again. Press and hold again. Now we have the lowest white output for the Cobb LED. Just want to show you that. Now let's go ahead and Turn on the laser pointer here, LEP, sorry, there we go, <laughs> yeah, these things are amazing, their beam intensity, second palm tree, first palm tree, now this beam has a little bit larger beam coverage, so the actual beam is a little bit wider than some of the ones I've tested in the past. Look at how that beam is. Out chimes everything in my testing area. There's playground across the park. There's the second one there. Tree line. Fence line. So we're going to try to get all the lights on here. Sorry about that. And four clicks from off. One, two, three, four. Now we've got them all on. Now this here is, is better than just the LEP alone in my opinion. 
As you can see, you got a foreground to kind of track where you're stepping. It's important, especially if you're tracking an animal. And all in this little compact size, this is pretty impressive. Same way out there, the outer edges of the park. Impressive. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Again, sorry about the air conditioner. Again, it's been really hot here, so it gets pretty hot here in my office area, so please excuse that noise. Now, beam performance on this is nice. I'm not seeing any issues. Flood is more than huge and wide enough. Definitely falls within that 60 feet that's probably the ideal range for it on the cob the LEP it outshines my testing area with these now if you do have any doubts on my testing area I know I say this during the night shots but just look down below in the description box you'll see a link to my testing area showing all the distances I use Google Skyview and uh, put the distances so you know, give you an idea, should you have any questions or doubts. But uh, impressive. You've got the combination of both. Uh, one light output, of course, is plenty. Uh, this does generate quite a bit of heat, so use it wisely on the lower settings. If you're just needing an LEP where you need something extreme range on it, you got it. Or if you want to combine both, uh, flood and the thrower you've got it otherwise the LEPs are not um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan with them by themselves I get a lot of requests to do them and it just depends on the light um, I, I've turned them down um, it's just really hard to showcase them in my opinion but with this mixture of both I really am impressed with it uh, it did well, especially for this size. The indicator here, you can break the connection, turn it off. Probably the best way to do it. Uh, if you do want to leave it on, power goes out. You can find it easier in the dark. So pretty simple on the UI. Of course, the red LED is impressive. So I'm not seeing any issues with that as well. 18650, you can use any 18650 in this. Should be fine. At least 10 amp or more. Charge it on the go. Again, these are becoming more and more common on lights. They're not putting covers on them anymore. So, well, I want to thank Lumentop for sending me this W1 to review. Now remember this is a complete kit, comes with everything you need. I will leave a link down in the description box below the video including a special discount code and that should help you save some money on this kit just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel. Otherwise you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way can bring these all new Lumen Top flashlights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs>